Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to Nico Venture. So today, we're gonna talk about this. Yup, but that was just an overview. That's not wrong, but giving a legitimate and possibly useful information is not wrong either. This video is for those people who are studying to be a certified caregiver in this country, for those who wants to come here and work as a caregiver, and for those who are just curious about what kind of examination Japan gives to its foreign nationals like me. So not only Filipinos but also Vietnamese, Burmese, and even Chinese nationals come here in Japan to find a better opportunity and possibly build a brighter future. And those can only be achieved by working your out in a foreign land. But whether you work in hospitality, care, or manufacturing industries, overcoming the language barrier will always be the first difficult task. Even before you step in this country, you are required to pass some series of examinations, examinations that are written in the native language. Even after that, once you arrive in your workplace, you'll have to contend on the locals dialect. It's quite mendoksai, but Shikataganai. Going back! So you've passed the series of examinations required to come in this country and you have a great grasp on the local dialect. But you want to work here longer and even live here if possible. Dosuru? Perfect! And these exams are very specific to your workplace. If you're working as a caregiver or a nurse, expect some Japanese medical terminologies written in kanji. That's what this exam is. It's an exam that a foreign national working as a caregiver needed to pass in order to work here long term. It's basically an exam that certifies or licenses a professional care worker. It's usually held at the end of January and the result is published at the end of March on the same year. I am a registered nurse back in the Philippines and I had a fair share of experience when it comes to its procedures or in Japanese, Tetsuzuki. But it's my first time taking on an examination from a foreign land written in a foreign language. So from here on out, I'll be sharing all my experiences in taking this exam. Take note, the exam taken by a foreign national and a native Japanese is exactly the same. So in the final days of our studies, I think October last year, we've focused on reviewing the previous examinations from previous years, I think way back 2015? I'm not sure. During that time, we regularly take these exams and evaluate ourselves based on our scores. Yeah! Nope, I don't think so. Because here in this country, hours after the exam proper, the questions and the answers are published online. Yes, but the published answers are not the official answers. There is still a possibility of mistake, but I did use it to self-check. It's an effective way to avoid false hopes. Oi! Makita daw ang exam sa internet! No! Secret, I'll share it at the end of this video. Days prior to the exam, I received this admission card. I'm not really sure how they categorize the examinees, but my Japanese classmates took the exam in a different location. As for the foreigners in our class, that includes me. We took the exam in the man-made island of Port Island, specifically in a certain women's college. I didn't saw any Japanese there aside from the examiners and facilitators. Aside from people from Vietnam, Myanmar, and China, there were also Indonesians. The exam itself is divided in two sets, morning and afternoon. The exam started at exactly 10 a.m. and ended at exactly 4.30 p.m. The morning set ends in 12.45 while the afternoon starts in 13.45. There's also a break for you to re-energize for the exam. But a very short one! <laughs> so let's talk about the contents of the exam. First, the exam is a multiple choice Scantron exam. 
where you shade the letter which corresponds to your answer, and your answers will be checked by a machine which scans the shaded part of the answer sheet. If you have any medical or nursing background back in your home country, taking this exam is somewhat easier to some degree. But if you don't have those, that's not a problem. Gambarimashou! That's because the subjects are somewhat similar to the ones I had back in the nursing college, just written in a different script. This, for example, can be read as Kokoro to Karada no Shikumi, which can be roughly translated to Anatomy of the Mind and Body, or as I would like to call it so as to be more familiar with it, Anatomy and Physiology. Although it's written in Japanese, the content is somewhat similar to the one I had back in the Philippines. Now, these are some of the subjects or sections I did not encounter before. These roughly translates to Human Independence and Dignity and understanding society. These are some of the most difficult subjects I think because these deals with Japanese laws concerning caregiving. I know right? At the last part of the afternoon set of the exam, there will be a lot of SOGO MONDAI. It's a combination of all sections of the exam, a situational analysis type of question. There are some English words as well. Most of them are deep medical terms which, if you don't have any medical background, can still be useless. So the best thing to do is not to do anything. Just ignore them. They're not your friends. No, if you try to understand them, they will just confuse you. <laughs> Just think about this. You're taking a Japanese exam and you've conditioned yourself to think in Japanese. Then you encounter some English terminologies. Just don't give a f about them. Focus on the Japanese part of the examination. So yeah, after the exam, you are allowed to bring the questionnaires back home or wherever you go after the exam. As such, you are also allowed to scribble on the questionnaire. Japanese tip. First, don't get stuck. If you don't know the answer to a question, leave it be and proceed to the next one. Come back to it after you've answered the last question. Avoid erasures. A Scantron exam sheet is checked by a machine. If you have erasures, it may leave some mark on the sheet, resulting to it marking that particular questions wrong. You lose points. You don't want to lose points. Nani? Moichido yutte yo. Listen closely to the instructors. There are two of them per class. They're Japanese and they speak too fast. Pay close attention to them before the exam starts. Finally, pray. You know what? Let's not use this word. Instead, we'll use this. It's a way of clearing your mind, organizing your thoughts, controlling your emotions. Meditate before, during, and after the exam. This number is my exam number, and the only numbers written here are the numbers that pass the exam. So yeah, I've passed the nursing. The, 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 nursing. Manako ato. So yeah, I've passed the National Caregiver Certification Exam. The passing score is 75 points and above. Of course, from here on out, I'm not only a registered nurse back in the Philippines, but also a certified caregiver in the land of the rising sun. I really don't want to boast, but f it. As for now, I'm the only non-Japanese certified care worker in the company that I'm working at right now. Now to answer the title of this video. Why I wouldn't have been able to pass the National Caregiving Certification Exam. As I've said earlier, the review for this exam started October last year. The school started, at least. But I didn't because of many factors that made me think that I need not to put more stress on myself by aiming to pass the exam. My wife continuously encouraged me to take the exam seriously, so I decided to take the exam seriously. The only problem is, it was already in the middle of January. I only had less than a month to study and pass the exam. And pass I did. For those of you who are planning to take the same exam, I hope this video gave you some insight about it. I'm not gonna lie to you, the exam was really difficult, but not impossible. Pass the exam and earn that respect you deserve. 
So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, 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 please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!